Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've got something beautiful and it's called the Tarot of the Kingdoms and it is a pink box and I'm sorry if the light is a little bit off because of, I've got the sunscreen down because it's a heat wave here in Holland. So besides that I'm going to do a review and I hope you enjoy it. And the Tarot of the Kingdom is by Paige um, Page Ozma Ashmore. Ozma Page Ozma Ashmore. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm going to unpack them. It's like Christmas when every time I get um, a box or cards, it's to me that is, I love it. I'm a cardaholic. <laughs> I'm addicted to cards, I will admit that. I love it. It is damaged through the post slightly. Never mind. So long the cards are damaged, I don't really mind. And it's a beautiful little box, and you've got the little mermaid here. And you've got and that's the sign of red feather with the infinity symbol underneath it, and that's the back. And I'll read the back. That's the pictures on the back. Enter a world of enchantment. 80 lavishly painted tarot cards. Two extra cards. One to allow you to reign over your own sovereign kingdom. And the other to receive personal messages from the universe. Includes three spreads to assist with divination. By working with the magical beings, you will learn how things connect in five magical kingdoms, and how best to use that wisdom to create a brilliant life. Work with ancient understanding and currents of magic that flow through the world. Discover your higher purpose, and learn how to dispel negativity in a reading. It is time to bring the magic of the universe to your door and to bend with your deepest powers of intuition. And it says it costs thirty-four ninety-nine on the back of the box. So it is magnetized, yes. It's quite a tough magnet. And it's a pink box. We've got a book. Let's have a look. And we've got the cards. It's really heavy. Wow. Uh, look at that. They're not edged. And I love the pink box. I love pink. And aquamarine. Now, that is the backing of the cards. And that is the cards. Now, this is the backing of the cards. And this is the cards themselves. So I'm just going to show you the backing of the cards. And the book is colourful. Um, it's this little book. And we've got the about the author again. And she looks a little bit like the uh, on the book Marla Brooks. But Marla Brooks had a hat on as well. <laughs> Let's have a look. We've got acknowledgments, then we have the contents, introduction, the intuition. I might read that out loud. Let's go to the movies. The deck full of stories. Right. I'm going to have a look. I can't see it on from above. Intuition. This deck is an invitation, sorry, invitation. You see, that's what happens when you do it from reversed. This deck is an invitation from the magical world to you. Dear reader, the realms of three spirits, fairies, mere folk, and angels, and dragons, 
want you to remember that once you had your own kingdom next to theirs. You even have your own card in this deck, called Spirit. To commemorate that, how lovely, they invite you at this time in, the, in this planet's history to join hands again and dance with them. Don't worry about the geography. Geography? I think they mean geography. There is, there isn't any. A spontaneous dance of the heart invents its own steps. As you are inspired, the time is now for furious dancing, for remembering, for reclaiming. And then you've got the introduction. The tarot of the kingdoms um, came about like this. For many years I have been approached to create a tarot deck as both as an artist and as a tarot reader for 30 years I found the idea intriguing but could not I create I what could not create what could stand alone and be unique there had been so much said about tarot already she goes on and on and let's go to the movies when I teach people how to read cards I like to use the technique that takes only five minutes and I've taught many people to read brilliantly with this method take any tarot deck and shuffle it fan it out face down now think of a question and let go pretend you are going to the movies you don't know what's out there to see so you just decided you are going to go and pick your movie based on a movie poster <coughs> excuse me with popcorn in hand choose one card and flip it over this is your movie don't worry about what the writing on the card says just go into the picture what kind of movie is this what do you think will happen in it? How will it end? Play with this method. When you think of your card as a movie, it can open creative doors of explanation and new ideas emerge from this. It could also build trust in your unique way of visioning things and then you've got the deck full stories chapter 2 then the layouts <coughs> and this is the, the pen, pentacle spread I'm going to try that one out it's got spirit fire air water and earth I love this this is the pe Wiccan spread I think it's like the Wiccan star tarot and numerology that's that's well you know what and that's what I do so you must know that if you follow me okay a predominance minutes one this is the time for planning new things and taking the first step Two, start connecting with others on your creations and move the energy uh, and collaborate. That's the numerology to ten. Okay, one to ten. Chapter five, major arcana. And you, I'm doing this upside down because it's all reading, but now you can see the full, and it is in color, and you get the. Um, uh, the meaning of the uh, card and then you get divinatory meaning a new journey and direction to take so this is um, basically the meaning of the card and in short what it means and then the trust in what you cannot see that's like the task or the comment Okay, that 
that's the fall. Again, you've got the de derivative meaning and to take the task. This is the explanation of the card and that's the magician. It's <coughs> let's see how many pages it's got. It's got more than eighty. Um, King of Earth. Right. That's the up to the Earth, and it's got a hundred and forty-four pages. Chapter seven, extra card. So this is the extra card. But we'll go back to the book, or I will go back to the book when um, I get to the end. And this is finding your purpose. And then uh, the card before. Let's have a look. These are all the cards in uh, the row. Uh, in a row. Uh, in a short way of description, if you're not sure. Where does it lead to? Right, sorry guys and girls, but um, I got a bit confused because you've got the big arcana here the card before it says and then where it leads to so this is just explaining um, a, a, a spread how you can where it's leading to that's the question with the two cards spread that is the idea that I've get, got okay and this is where it starts and it's chapter 7 extra card a note from the universe and I think this is lovely now this also explains when you've got the card <coughs> what these two uh, divinatory meaning and direction to take it explains actually what that means so even if you're a beginner it tells you what this and this means I'll read it to you because this is a card from the universe and I think it's quite an important message you don't have to do it if you don't want to. The physical universe just wanted you to know that there, that's how life happens for planets and stars too. First it's the soul that is created and then it takes form. The division, divine, sorry, divin, divin, sometimes my English is really bad. Divinatory meaning seeing things from a deeper and bigger perspective direction to take so that's the task or suggestion to get yourself out of thinking and acting small as the question who is observing here so that is the card of the universe and it's a message from the universe so and then it goes into finding your purpose and how you can find your purpose what questions you could ask um, like um, want to know what it is want to know what the higher purpose is for the year or the month these are just some examples that you can use the cards from and then it says let's just read the card before and where it leads to so this just explains explains to you how it works that's great and then you've got the tarot alch uh, alchemy and that's also explain explanatory and that it's not uh, an end note at all it just says be blessed and that's what they finished with once they've explained the tarot alchemy okay and now we're going on to the deck I hope you and on the back of the book you have a little word a truly magical tarot deck the colorful images create the perfect tapestry for rich deep tarot readings every tarot lover will want this gorgeous deck and that is a review from a lady 
Okay. Tarot of the kingdoms melt your heart with pages softly exquisite drawings that portray inspired scenes and lovely beings. This gentle deck connects us with the nature and its colourful world of magic. I think that is really nicely presented. Okay, so that is the Terror of the Kingdoms. Now I also read somewhere there were five kingdoms, so let's have a look. And that is the elements, like uh, yes, the big arcana, water, fire, earth and air, the five magical kingdoms. Wow, I'm waking up. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. This is the universe. There are two extra cards here, and that is spirit. So that is when you do that, that reading, you use these two. It will explain to you um, how to do it. I love the colours. Really, again, psychedelic. Oh, and this is one of the decks that I will love. And we, I don't know. This is. Mm, that I'll split them up. See whether the queen. Of Yes, I do want to, I think it's better if I split them up. Um, I'll tell you why. Because the borders are different colours. And this is water. And I'm going to split them up, that's much easier to do. So just bear with me. And this is fire. And I think that must, that bigger colour must be there as well. Yes, you see. So that is fire, that is water, this is earth. And this is air. Ooh, and I'm glad air is pink. Look at that. Pink. I love it. And this is the big, big arcana. Okay, um, and you can see that by uh, all the borders, they are bordered. So if you don't like borders, um, I think it makes the cards. Okay, that's in every deck. I'm going to just move this, um, uh, so you can see each uh, card. Okay, we've got the full. I'm going to hold them up so that you can see them because they are very very colorful and it's important to see the difference then we've got the magician I love the rainbow then we have the high priestess and I love the colors in this And it runs, everything runs into everything else. Then we've got the Empress. It looks like a mountain if you look at it firstly. And then you can see the shape of the Empress, Mother Earth. And I think this is very clear for beginners. The Emperor. If you've just begun to learn tarot, then I think because they're named and numbered, that will help you a great deal. But a, a water t t t tortoise doesn't really resemble the Hierophant, but um, it is very artistic, very psychedelic. A bit flower power energy I get from these. Then we have the lovers. Mm. And I like the way the stars and the moon or the earth. If you look at that, it looks like her legs <coughs> are tied to the ground. They're both tied into the earth. And then we have the chariots. Somebody's riding a panda. <laughs> 
and also everything the world the planets it also gives the message interlocked <coughs> then we have the strength and here again a different nationality custom more or less Egyptian with the leopard then we have the hermits and they're so innocent also a turban again a different nationality she's brought countries into together <coughs> the universe as well excuse me it has been really hot here in Holland and you sit on the draft and then you get your cold so I think I've got a little bit of a cold my excuses justice this is the first time I'm seeing the deck as well the hanged man I think that's a beautiful fantasy to uh, put it out on cards the death card now, I have to look at them upside down so I'll be looking at them again later oh this is beautiful like heaven and earth are connected with the um, rainbow and these are your transcending up to heaven and becoming an angel and leaving the earth behind she's got the earth the water the air and the fire within the picture I think it's amazing transformation going up we've got temperance I love the art on this then we have the devil and it looks like a kangaroo, half kangaroo, half wolf <laughs> having a cup of tea and um, then we have the tower well I can't um, I can't see a tower in there but I can understand the explosion and she's done it in a gentle and a beautiful way because the colors of the um, explosion the lightning are there and then we have the star beautiful then we have the moon just have a peep I love this I love these colors it reminds me of Stonehenge and the magical things happening there mother um, that's the uh, the moon is uh, uh, the moon goddess right then we have the Sun again mother earth the Sun nurtures everything warms it up with love and then we have judgment and the world really beautiful cards right that's the big arcana and now we're going to earth and we start off with the ace ace of earth and that is exquisite now I think there are two cards here the card stock is really tough is good uh, it's not um, Diana Virtue but it's thicker than usual um, and it's matte finish they're not gilded but I think this is beautiful it's just like the lotus and the baby resting in mother earth it's the arms, arms of the earth beautiful 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 and then we have the two of earth I'll, draw, I'll do it like this the two of earth being intertwined is really beautiful
intertwined the three of uh, the three of pentacles the four of pentacles again you can see four elements there 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 and there it's not a deck for a beginner five of earth the six of earth this is an angel on a reindeer that's what it looks like to me then we have the seven of earth the eight of earth it's also all everywhere is people 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 it's great nice the nine of earth two people in here, you've got a fairy there and then fairy here with a star the ten of earth they also give a feeling that they're not only tarot but also a bit oracle type of oracle, page of earth the night of earth it's working with shadows as well I think that's the way I think because look at the queen of earth and some it's like light here and also up here and behind her she's connected to the world the energy of the world and then we've got the king of earth then we go to water I like the matte finish we've got the ace of water and she's got a swollen tummy as well birth and these are mermaids the two of water I love the three of water, it looks like lovers the three of water because it is a celebration when you come together four of water the five of water the six of water It looks a bit like the, the, the buildings in uh, Russia, in Moscow, or Leningrad, on the Red Square. I've been there. Okay, Seven of Water. Seven of Water. She's thinking or dreaming about her dreams, wishes. The Eight of Water. I like the water suit better than the Earth suit. Um, perhaps that's because I love mermaids but I also feel more togetherness with the water emotions it's either a mother with a child or it's somebody with an animal or father and mother the children are very important in this deck that is in the water suit that is the night of water that was the page of water, the knight of water, the queen of water and the king of water and it's got a blue so a board surround and the earth had a green one now we're going to fire and that is red okay 
and we have the Phoenix and the Ace of the Fire and the Phoenix rising from the ashes and then we have the Two of Fire Passion Partnerships the Three of Fire and that looks a bit like a dragon or an earthquake <laughs> four of fire you do really need to um, have the titles on these decks because this for instance is the five of fire and you would think it is the knight of fire because your imagination does work over time with this deck because you've got so much to see so uh, it's I'm glad they are numbered and that they titled because once you get know the deck you have to get to know the deck uh, you'll be with this deck you'll see keep on seeing new things definitely this is the six of fire you'll see a lot of things and more possibilities like this could be a boat but it could also be an airship because th there's not really a yeah it looks like if they're flying through the cosmos <laughs> and seventh of fire the eight of fire the nine of fire the ten of fire the page of fire the knight of fire oh I love this one a beautiful dragon the Queen of Fire that does not look to me like a Queen it looks more like um, somebody from outer space and the King is wearing a dress so I would have to guess this is from the 1700s sort of the sense of dress he also reminds me of the singer that lady with the beard from the Eurovision Song Contest last year that was the no the year before that was the winner now this is how the the fantasy or intuition and memories start working with all these colors now we have the air ace of air the air suit oh I love this ace oh beautiful look at dandelion that's gone into seed beautiful with a baby in it I love the way she's done that the two of air oh I love that that looks like Cinderella's coach oh I think the air suit and the water suit are the best and you've got the three of air you wouldn't think of sadness when seeing this <coughs> the four of air ah oh, that's so beautiful the air suit is more like a fairy tale like Tinkerbell on the five of air six of air Pegasus the seven of air I can't really imagine anybody leaving but it could be um, perhaps I'm not seeing it right a cocoon opening so opening that could be it because this is the twig and this is the cocoon that's bursting open but I can't relate 
that to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't really relate it to the Seven of Swords. I'll have to think about that. I'll keep that separate. The Eight of Air. The Nine of Air. Yes, well, she is sort of dreamy, sleeping. The Ten of Air. She does make it into a fairy tale. Because the Ten of Air, and that's the Ten of Swords, that feels like you're stabbed in the back. Well, that's not very happiness, is it? The Page of Air. The page of air is just a path with a butterfly. I would have put Peter Pan in there or something. The night of air. The queen of air. You see? And with the page I would have put a person in it, not just a butterfly or pathway. Now what I'm going to do is, because I've got a question myself about this beautiful deck, is I'm going to go to the air suit and I'm going to see whether it explains what the drawings are. Okay? I'm just going to see. We've got the seven of air, right? The seven of air is the butterfly. Ah, okay butterfly struggles to get out of his chrysalis yes the cocoon right the truth about butterflies is that they are already perfectly formed inside the caterpillar once they seal themselves inside the chrysalis um, this caterpillar body uh, liquefies and reveals the truth form the true form that has always been there within wow yes very deep thought very deep thought that like I said the cocoon yes beautiful I'm glad they are um, they do explain in the book as well um, not only what the uh, no. yes you do you must know the tarot um, in order to understand because they explain the cards here but not as the tarot they uh, do it mystically now we've got number 10 as well 10 of air they've got that's the mystical that is their language of the fairies and the mystical of the kingdoms rather very mystical this fairy is a master magician among her kind her wings are the colors of the four elements green for earth, orange, red for fire, golden for air and blue for water. She signifies a rainbow and a kingdom appears on her hand. Yes, that's beautiful. I think <coughs> this is nice a nice deck. Hold on. This project brought to fruition. It is the ult um, ultimate card in bringing creative pro a project or an idea into the physical manifestation. When it comes to your creative dreams, make sure you are carrying out what is for you. Don't bear the burdens of other people's responsibility. <coughs> now in traditional tarot the ten means um, uh, that somebody could have stabbed you in the back um, that's how you feel or you've got back pain and it's an ending to a friendship, cutting of a, a, a relationship that is what basically it means but here it is um, it talks in the kingdom the tarot of the kingdom language the fairy language that she's mag magical and she's the 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 master of a magician yeah 
of the four elements. She manifests a rainbow and a kingdom appears to her hand. So there is an ending and you can make a new beginning but by creating your own world or your own beginning. Although number 10 is a, a coming to fruition, um, this, is, this card also brings a creative project or an idea into the physical manifestation. So you have to think pretty much as a hippie, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this does these these cards do make you think like why did this card come in existence and why was this drawn? So you have to think not only of the meaning of the tarot card, but think in the way what air is and what air means. So this is a, a lot like dreams, and I'm saying psychedelic, yes it is psychedelic, um, but I've never used drugs, thank goodness. When it comes to your creative dreams, make sure you are carrying out what is for you, uh, only what is for you, Don't and, and yes, let go of people that, you know, they want your attention, but if they stab you in the back, this is very deep thinking though the, the um yeah, yeah let's have a look because this fascinates me well i'm a thinker i'm an air sign okay so create your own dreams create your own world because where there's an ending there's a beginning yes but you have to think in a really mystical or a fairy like way I think that is fascinating that you can you can really start thinking. It sets, let me put it that way, it sets your mind into um, a new way of thinking, definitely. Now let's have a look. I'm going to, the, the cards are thicker than I'm used to. Let's, they do they're a bit stiff, but you know, it will come. They are quite large. They are like the oracle size cards. Uh, usually, well, that's what I do with my cards. I always go one by one, sort of like an introduction to my cards, get my energy into the cards. No. I do like them. I really do love the borders. Um, they um, but I love the mystic, the mystics and the storytelling, but you have to see it. It, le it teaches you to l look into the cards deeper. Uh, it's also very pleasant to the eyes. And they are matte finish. They shake very well. They're pleasant to shake, yes. They come loose. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that reading. I hope you have enjoyed, uh, not, not that reading, sorry. This is how I, I'm busy with the cards and, well, I do lay cards uh, for every zodiac sign every week. And so these cards will be fun to work with for my weeklies and my romantic decks or readings in once a month. And um, thank you very much. Before I end this review, I just want to, to do that um, star, that pantogram um, 
of the five elements and I've given it my own twist as I usually do because I am creative and I am a thinker and I just want to see what the star this is one then it's two and then we've got three three one two three four and five that doesn't look much like a star to me so what have I done wrong let's have a look I'm going to take the book with this because this is a, um, a new way look that's one that's this one then we've got two and then we've got three I'm going to three then we've got four and then we've got five so that looks more like a star but I'm going to do a twist to it <laughs> you can use one of the two um, extra um, cards that's the universe card and the spirit card but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to put um, an over an overall energy card um, in it so I'm going to go one two three four five in the overall energy and that's what I'm going to do for the uh, coming week um, the general reading because this looks a lot like my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday reading but I rather it, it fascinates me this deck really makes your um, intuition, your fantasy, your creativeness it brings it out and that's what I'm going to do lovely and to use as clarifiers um, I, am, I will be doing this I'm using my cartomancy um, that I did the review on yesterday and I think that all psycho these two will fit really nicely together because they're very psychedelic and that's the word that has appeared to me <laughs> since I've got these two decks and I thank Red Feather for this because this is magic this is really magic so anybody that's a pagan a Wiccan um, an ordinary reader, uh, anybody. So here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll take an overall energy as well. And that is amazing. And then you can turn the deck around and take that as an extra for the week. Usually I do that with oracle cards, but I'm going to keep them like that and that's I might even add an oracle card and an angel card but that is magic yes um, one Monday Wednesday no Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday s Friday Saturday Sunday and the overall energy you see what you can do if you use your imagination and I've been just motivated um, to changed my spread by using the um, penta pentagram wow and in the book it says obviously it's, I'll go back number one let's have a look I'm going to stop the video here because I do want to get it right here you go number one is spirit then number two is fire so action and then we have air is number three thinking communicating and uh, justice that could be to do with the judicial issues or advice and then we've got four that's water and then we've got five which is earth and that could be the querent or the overall energy I like this spread I'm going to use it thank you thank you Paige Ah, uh, you've really motivated me to do something new. Great stuff. Okay, I hope you just like the idea, and that's how you can. This this is magic. This is these cards are magic because um, they've taught me and uh, to do 
to change the spread again and it's exciting I love something new it um, I'm a Gemini and I like stimulation stimulating the mind and I'm happy with this I'm f grateful thank you and I hope you have enjoyed this as well so take care and please share and like this video ciao ciao darlings see you in the life Thank you.